going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I got a call from one of my buddies this morning saying he was having some problems with one of his Tesselata eels trying to eat all his aquarium fish. So he ended up giving me a call saying, hey Nick, I may need you to come grab this thing. We're gonna head over there, check out this thing, see how big it is and see if we could possibly bring it home for one of our aquariums. arriving he also did say um, he was having some troubles with the water in his tank so we're gonna check that out haven't seen it in person so we're gonna see it right now and see if maybe we can help him out I did bring this bucket and aerator I haven't seen this in person so I'm not sure how big this eel is but it should be able to fit in here we only have about a 10 minute drive home let's go in and see how big he is dude I bet you see like fish blowing up all the time. Even in this cove, there's gotta be tarpon that come through here. Oh, and just like stuff lives under there? Yeah. Oh, I bet. Look at this. So this is Gage's backyard. Absolutely insane. This is all salt water. You can literally just catch stuff right in your backyard. Maybe one day we can. But uh, look at this. I mean, you got tons of rocks right here. And I'm sure there's probably some crazy stuff. Octopus, you name it, it's, it's definitely under there. There's just rocks everywhere. It's a super low tide, but maybe we can catch some jacks or the pond back here. That'd be cool. Put that in the pond? Yeah, that thing just shocked the crap out of me. What? The ladder. But yeah, no, catch some jacks, put them in the pond. That'd be epic. I know you guys want to see jacks. I've been saying this for like a year and a half now. We just have to be patient because we don't want to rush the process. Oh, look at this. Look at the puff around the seawall. See oh my gosh, he's, he's massive. He is. He's just eating all the barnacles, little invertebrates that hang up on that seawall. <laughs> Look at him, he's munching. And that right there is a leopard puffer fish. We've gotten those a couple times here in Jupiter, but um, see if I can help Gage out here with the tank. That happens sometimes, but you just gotta find a solution. All right, so we're gonna lure him out with food because it's a little murky right now, so we can't see him the best, but once we get some food in there, he'll probably pop his head out, then we can net him and be all set. So cool, this tank is so sick though because all most of these creatures in here and fish are all from Jupiter. So he goes out, does kind of the same thing we do, catches his own fish and brings them back for his aquariums. All right, Gage is gonna attempt to net her. Do you have a name for her? Steven. Steven? So it's not her. <laughs> Oh, bamboo, that's a cool bamboo shark. He may be too smart. Right back into his cave. See if you can get his whole body to come out. There he is. There he goes. Keep him moving. Oh, he's so quick. All right, plan B. We're gonna take these rocks apart, see if that makes it a little easier. Let's get the net under there. Boom. There he is. That worked. Heck yeah, we got it. Actually pretty thick. And that's because he's been eating everything in this tank. So he's not gonna be doing that anymore. In this bucket, he goes. Boom. Heck yeah. Okay, Gage is gonna feed them real quick. Show you guys off some of the fish in here. Bamboo shark. Let's see if he munches. Oh. <laughs> That's so sick. That little puffer's from Jupiter. Caught him out in the wild. Look at him. Look at the little blindy in the back there. He's coming out. It is a little hard to see right now because, like I said, Gage is having some water problems right now. But the water chemistry itself, nothing's wrong with it. As you can see, the fish are still eating. So he's just going to be upgrading his filtration, adding a nice sump to the bottom of this. And in a couple days, this tank should be crystal clear. Oh, is that a um, pink tail trigger or a niger? I think it's a niger. Can't tell. It looks like a little niger trigger. We definitely gotta come back here once Gage gets his sump set up and everything. Maybe we could do a little like stalking video on his tank. Go out, catch some things. He does a lot of diving. So if you guys wanna see that, me and Gage go out, dive for some exotic fish. Let us know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. Gage, thank you, dude. We'll do, we'll do some diving here soon and go catch some more stuff for that tank. We're gonna set this guy right in the back here. He does have a top along with an aerator and we only have about a 10 minute drive home. So we'll see you guys once we get back home. 
So we got our Tessalata acclimating right here. She's been acclimating for the past 30 minutes. I've decided to put her in the 200 gallon for many reasons. Nothing in here is able to eat her since we have eels about the same size and nothing fathers them. And she won't be able to eat anything in here because they're all big. So it works out well and I think she should do perfect in here. It actually isn't a girl. He said his name was Steven. So we're gonna keep it Steven. Come on, Steven. Come on. So pretty. I'm gonna show you guys later on the bigger version of these guys. We have about a four and a half foot one and uh, you'll see the difference in the two of them. Look at that, you. That thing is so pretty, bro. It's gonna look so sick with uh, sunshine or banana golden moray. The fish head went out. She must have thrown that up. Lobster will eat it. There she goes right into the rocks and that lobster smells that fish. Oh, look. <laughs> Munched it. Gone. There she is right back there. I don't know what she's doing. Looks like she's just trying to find out a spot. There she goes right behind the lobster. But as you can see in this aquarium here, we have plenty hiding spots and there's literally so many. So she could choose anywhere she really wants to go. We do have three eels in here, about all the same size. Plenty of room, like I said, most of them just hide out in the rocks and all the other fish kind of just hang out in the open here. So we're gonna give her a day or so to get acclimated and comfortable. Once she does, we'll pick the camera back up and give you guys some updates. It is the next day. We do have some food right here. Tessalata has been doing awesome. Just been seeing him go through all these rocks, find new places, but like I said, I do have some food right here. So we're gonna offer them some, see if they hungry. As soon as that scent gets in there, oh. Oh, I launched it, lionfish. Look at the lobster. <laughs> Shark, he smells it, gone. That was cool. Oh my gosh, that guy is fast. Where's Tesla at? There's so many rocks. It's, she can just hide it. Oh, she's right back here. She smells it. Oh, 100% smells it. She's starting to come out. Other lobster got one. Sorry, another one there. Oh. He's, oh, what the? He spit it out. Definitely smells the food. You can tell because, you know, she's coming out to see. Oh, grouper murked that one. She's coming out, though, to see, like, what's going on. So I think if a shrimp passes her face, she's going to munch it. Gotta get our Tesla to eat. He looks like he'll eat, dude. Maybe I should put it on a stick. Because that's what like Gage was used to feeding him. There's his head. Oh. oh, he murked it right back into his hole. Well, that's a good sign. He's eating. It's been one day, so usually when fish are eating, that means they're not stressed. We'll keep an eye on her. Make sure she does good. We do have our other Tesla in the saltwater pond who's massive. One day she'll be that size and be able to go in there as well. But if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see y'all in the next one. See you!